We are one day away from former President Donald Trump's expected surrender at the Fulton County Jail in Georgia, where he'll face charges of attempting to overturn the 2020 election results in the state. ABC's M. Wynn has you covered. Activity at the Fulton County Jail in Atlanta is picking up as several of former President Trump's 18 co-defendants have shown up to be arrested in process. Trump is expected to surrender himself tomorrow. All of the accused facing racketeering charges over their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. Like others who have already shown up at the jail, the ex-president is going to be fingerprinted, processed, and take a mugshot. He and the district attorney have agreed to a $200,000 bond. Today, his former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who's also charged with violating Georgia's RICO Act, expected to turn himself into authorities after finalizing his bond package. I can take it. I fought battles much worse than this against people much tougher than them. Overnight, two other alleged co-conspirators were booked, former Georgia Republican Party Chair David Schaefer and Kathy Latham, a former Republican official in Coffee County, accused of allowing unauthorized access to voting machines. Tuesday, several others turning themselves in, including Trump lawyer John Eastman, who's accused of drafting a memo proposing the use of fake electors to help Trump illegally cling to power after losing to Joe Biden. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment. Eastman's bond was set at $100,000. Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, hoping to avoid arrest altogether, filing an emergency motion asking the judge to protect Mr. Meadows from arrest as he seeks to move the case to federal court. But court records show District Attorney Fonnie Willis told Meadows, I am not granting any extensions. Allies for the former president are calling on supporters to gather outside the Fulton County Jail tomorrow, where Trump is expected to surrender in the evening. Amid an increase in threats, security has been ramped up in the area. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.